Hey friends, it's Patty. Today I'm going to be working in this larger size art journal. I'll be doing a page spread, and if that's something you'd like to see, keep watching. My video starts a little abruptly um, because it was a continuation of a previous video. So I thought I'd do a new intro and also talk a little bit about the gesso that I use in this video. So what it is, is any kind of gesso, white gesso and um, a drop or two of these different pigments from folk art. And i um, got yellow ochre, raw sienna, and raw umber and I just drop a little bit and then I mix until it's at the color that I like and it just it takes a lot of the white out of it and it kind of antiques the um, page a little bit and just adds a little bit of something extra to um, kind of a bright page if you want to tone it down a little bit so I hope you enjoy the video let's get started so when you're putting gesso or wet medium on a page that you've already put together, especially if you've used glue sticks like I did, sometimes it'll make the images or the, the ephemera want to come up off the page. So I'm going to be try to be really careful about saturating just so, I mean, you can go ahead and just uh, put something on it, close it. I put heavy books on mine once in a while, but I'm going to try to be um, careful about putting too much on here. I just want to, I just kind of want to distress it, I think. Just distress this a little bit. That's what this does. It kind of just distresses the the paper a little bit. Um, no, wait, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. There we go. I like the uh, print to be in the background. It kind of turns it into kind of a background page a little bit more. And I'll let some of the image show through. This is a bunch of um, kind of like transparent type washi. These are washi sheets, and then um, I think this was a printout on some uh, clear sticker paper. And then these were some digital download. This was a digital download from the internet of uh, an old passport, and then an old newspaper, and then some florals. Just a little, a little um, collection of um, transparent um, sticker paper. I like layering. I like the idea of layering. But these and these are these might not. I don't know if I don't know if these will work as far as uh, you know because they're they're short. But sometimes, if you tear them right, you can kind of make them work. Like if I were to... See, I like how this purple kind of is pulling this purple over. It's kind of a wine color. So I think I'm going to try this one and see where it takes us. And then I have a couple of containers of large um, images here. So let's start with this. I'm liking this. First thing I do when I'm uh, tearing clear label paper because it's plasticky is I have to cut, give it a quick cut because it'll it won't tear correctly. So what if I put that there and that there and kind of pulled them together? 
And I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if this will. I'm going to see if this will work. I don't like a. I don't want a straight edge. Too many straight edges bother me. So I'm going to try it on this one. See if it'll work again. Those for something else. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if this works. I'm starting to realize why I miss using these types of journals. I love just working on one page on my surface. These are usually a little easy. Oh, here it is. Okay. This is just regular old Avery, clear, transparent label paper. Oh right, now the hard part, images. I don't know why, but I'm just, I'm wondering if I need to fill a little bit more space with something else. Like this, this is what I was thinking about. Just gonna throw some options out there and see what see if there's anything that wows me. I grabbed this just because it has the a little bit of this purple in it. I want to see if that'll work somehow. Sometimes uh, something that you just that just kind of pops out at you can make or break your page spread. So I'm going to see if throwing a cabbage on there might do something for me. needs to be ironed. Okay, I'm going to try that. We might be going botanical on this. Take some bulk out. Let's see. That's bugging me. What I try to do is I try to estimate a little bit like the point where I need to end is about here. It doesn't have to be perfect. One thing that I do want to see how I'm pulling up some of the print by using this. I do that all the time unfortunately. I always forget that those are printed on my um, printer, which isn't top-notch deluxe, and um, it's really easy to pull off some of that print. I've done it more than once. Let's see if we can get this on here right. Let's see. Okay.
Yeah. I think we're going in a different direction than I'd originally planned on this. We're not going, I don't think we're going vintage on this one. So here's some of my larger images. And this mushroom I've had forever. Um, so I'm thinking that it may get a home today, but it needs to be cut a little bit. Um, well, the thing that is bothering me a little bit is that I made the background the same as the mushroom. And so I'm thinking that I might want to try to get something up there that's going to kind of um, pop that mushroom just a little bit. Sometimes a doily will do the trick. Doilies just don't seem to kind of go with this whole look. So. Frog. Um, this is my kind of my flora and fauna group. Ah. Moose. Let's see. Um, I don't know. There's a butterfly and another frog. kind of my botanical group. I still have some of these. I should put them in that other one. Yeah. Let's see. options here. That might be too busy. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. So far, the only thing that I've actually liked is this, this white doily. I'm going to try it. What the heck? When all else fails, throw on a doily, right?
I decided to use these corners because um, they're just going to end up being one more thing that's in my um, stash that I have to find a place for, and I figured I might as well use it now. Give that corner a little interest. A little crooked, but oh well. Torn pieces towards the binding a little bit. There. Oh. oh, crooked. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Softens the corner a little bit. So I grabbed a few things out of that. I printed this on sticker paper and I don't know, I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, I just thought I'd grab a few options here. Yeah, it's the butterfly. And this butterfly was out of, I believe, a magazine. When you see things in magazines, you should just grab them. As a matter of fact, I spent a couple of hours the other day cutting up an old magazine that I forgot that I had. And uh, instead of letting it just sit there doing nothing, I cut it up to use in one of my art journals. I'm going to cut this out too. So I thought it'd be fun to just cut out, you know, leave the corner and cut out the front of it to see if it'd look cute in the, in a corner. You can't see him there, but you can see him there. So I'm just trying things out. I don't know what's going to stay, what's going to go. If he's going to get cut in half. Like that. I'm going to try it. That's kind of cool. I'm going to try it. Something different. You know, all you can do is try some of this stuff, see if you like it, and um, if you don't, it's not the end of the world. It's paper, it's glue, it's, it's a little bit of time in your day. You're practicing, you're figuring out what you like, what you don't like. Um, it's, I've been doing this for many years and I'm still learning. I'm learning from other people, and I'm learning from myself, and uh, in the meantime, I'm creating, hopefully something that I'll like looking at. <laughs> okay. All right. So I just threw caution to the wind on that. I'm hoping that that's going to work. Um, that. that I can work with that somehow. I 
I don't know. I, I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to get to the point where I've made this page and I look at it and I'm like, no, that's not going to work and then do what I have done over the last few days is take things apart because I don't like it. So, um, but I'm thinking that I like, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of something like that in there somewhere. I would have preferred the wing to be on top of it. Still wet, so. I'm, for some reason, I'm just digging that. So I'm going to go ahead and, I think I want it that way, yeah. Like that I think it's bringing that orange over here I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it down you know I um, I'm at the point now where I really have to commit to decisions okay let's see if we can get that off there without tearing it okay I don't know what, if I want it coming off the page or kind of like that. If it's coming off the page a little bit, I'll cut it. Oops, I don't like that. Hold on. Uh, I can't do it. I didn't like this white right here, but you know what? I'm just going to have to live with it. Put that on there. Okay. I'm liking that. Just a little something. And if frogs just aren't your thing, I get how if this isn't going to work for you as far as an art journaling page. But uh, I like little critters in my pages. Even if there's not glue on the top of the image, I like to try to put the paper down because there might be glue on this and I've brought up um, parts of um, images before if I've gotten glue on my roller. So that's why I always have a nice supply of, the, of wax paper in my arsenal. I offset them because I knew that I'd cut it crooked and I wanted to be able to cut it to the page. I have to cut the page. Hello. All righty. Committed. Now I need to commit to this frog. I always try to trim from the sides and the bottom, but if I've got something popping up at the top, I usually try to leave it just because it kind of gives it kind of a cute look up at the top. So what I'm thinking is right here, you know, it's kind of dirty, goodness, um, let me see if I can get some of that off of there. I think my brayer might be dirty. There. Um, I just feel like if I had something that said something right here, like a phrase or a word of some sort right here, that that would be really cool. And this is calling me. You know, maybe just one of these stamps. Maybe 
let's just try it. This is one of those digital downloads that if I uh, want another one of these I can print it up. Let's see. So we have that one, we have that. Oh, you know what? You can we can stack them. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Just to stack them. That might be enough. <laughs> I'm not sure. I need some over here now. Um, I don't know what, but just to kind of bring that look over here. Yeah. No, I feel it. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to stick it on now. Why not? More layering. But I do, I feel like there if there was something right in here that this would be a finished page spread. Now I gotta figure out what that's gonna be. Some Vicky Booten goodies. Or what's this? Let's try this real quick. Just this is from I think. Oh yeah. This is from the um little things. I don't a uh, little things magazine from 2015 that was just sitting on my shelf and um, I decided to cut it up the other day because I bought it for the images and just something different to work with and I never did anything with it so sorry about my scissors they're old there we go okay that's kind of cool Or just something small. Let's try this one. Um, I'm gonna grab my other scissors though. That squeaking was kind of getting on my nerves there. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to cut away from because I keep cutting on top of wet glue. <laughs> One thing I did forget though, is I forgot about these cool mushroom um, stamps that I've had for years that I just, I never use. I just, they're too cute so I don't use them, but they might, might be cute. Hold on, there's, not blue, no blue. And there's that color. There's this green. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, blue. 
kind of like in this one. I'm going to do those and then I'll do my pencil. Okay, so we've got it done. Um, there you go, there's the little frog, mushrooms. Um, there are a few places that I need to go kind of back over because this is the shiny type of paper and do a little bit more, um, a little bit more erasing and gluing down and that kind of thing. But I'm running out of time on this uh, project and so I thought I'd go ahead and do my little, oh, you know what, um, I do want to do his little antlers. Let me do his little antennae, not antlers. Antlers, can you imagine? Antlers on a butterfly. I think that's been done. Let me see if I can do this. Just a little something. Nothing spectacular, but he did have a little round kind of things at the end, so. All right, so there we have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or um, any comments, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to those. And I really appreciate it. So have a great day. Bye-bye.